Hey everybody, welcome to week 14 and probably about this time you are ready to be done with training and I do not blame you. Uh, it's been a long season. At the same time, you're probably thinking, I can't believe it's already here and it's just a couple weeks away. This week there's one key workout and that is the big race brick. Um, ideally, I'd like to see you go between 50 to 60 miles on the bike, um, three and a half hours. So wherever you fit within those parameters, if you can get in 60 miles in under three and a half hours, great. If you're at say 49 miles and that's three and a half hours, stick to three and a half hours. Uh, but somewhere in that range, ideally, you know, at least a 50 mile bike ride followed by a 10 mile run. That would be people who are more looking at to finish the race. If you want to be more competitive in the race, then trying to get in the 60-12 as the maximum for this workout. And then intensity wise, you really want this to be a, a race rehearsal. So you want to bike, especially at the intensity that you plan to bike at. If you use a heart rate monitor or a power meter, you know, tap into those numbers. You also want to pick a bike course that's pretty similar as much as possible to your race. So if you're doing a very hilly race course, try to pick a hilly bike ride. If it's a dead flat course, maybe like a like an Ironman Arizona 70.3, you know, try to pick a flat course. The other thing that's really important is if you live in a city like I live in Seattle, and sometimes you have to ride for 45 minutes until you get away from all the stoplights, you really want to do this workout as much as you can in a place where you stop as little as possible. You may have to stop to use the restroom or to refill some water bottles, uh, but try to keep your stops to just a couple minutes, right? Because in the race, you're not gonna be stopping. And so if you stop and you take a big 15 minute you know, break, then that's gonna make the workout maybe too easy. And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get off and you're gonna run and you're gonna feel great. And then you're gonna be in for a bit of a surprise on race day. So do, do the bike, especially at that half Ironman effort, maybe even a little harder. Because um, that you know anything that's harder in the in the preparation will make the race easier. When you get off, um, it's really about managing you know what you can do. Uh, most people are are surprised how slow they run coming off a long bike ride, as opposed to running say 12 miles on your own. That's okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tired run. Uh, so do the best that you can to keep your form well. Make sure you take good hydration. Um, and nutrition, this is also, this workout is another, it's a great opportunity for you to practice not only the hydration and the, the fueling plan that you're going to use in the race, but also the breakfast. So maybe you're traveling to the race and you're staying in a hotel and you don't have access to a kitchen. Think about the things that you're going to eat on race morning and then duplicate that here. Um, that way you can just one more opportunity to find out if what you're going to eat on a race morning works with your digestive system and then fuels you for the workout. So for the rest of the week, it really comes down to are you fatigued and you need more rest because you want this workout to be key. You don't want to do a bunch of hard workouts and then sacrifice this workout. You want to sacrifice things Monday through Friday so you can get that workout in. Another thing is if you maybe you have a, a job that's not a Monday through Friday job and, and you need to do this workout on a different day, whatever you need to do to get that workout in, switch some things around, take a day out of work if you have to, but get that workout in. Okay, so if you're feeling fatigued during the week, then what I'd rather have you see is do more active recovery workouts rather than what's on the schedule because you want this, I mean, you really want to just treat this like a race. This is This is actually the number one workout in the entire training plan. That's how important, important that workout is. If, however, you're feeling good, um, there's a threshold workouts of swimming, biking, and running. And if you're feeling great, try to get all of those in. You can also mix it up a little bit. Maybe you do, like on Monday, I have a bike FTP test, and you do that, and then you're feeling a little bit tired the next day. So maybe instead of that run, you mix that up with the swim or a recovery workout, and then you do the threshold swim, right? So do what you can, but honor where you're at fatigue-wise, because again, it all comes down to this race brick. This is essentially uh, pretty darn close to as hard as the race is gonna be, and the more challenge you can put on yourself for that workout, the better experience you're gonna have in the race. Um, go out and have a great week. This is the last tough workout, and then you have two weeks by comparison that'll just be a breeze and be easier. And the next two weeks after this will be about getting you recovered, 
getting you topped off with some shorter, faster workouts and getting, getting you ready for the race. All right, have a good one.